Hi guys, it's Sarah and I am coming to you today to show you how I am making kind of a play on a chicken cordon bleu. Now, I'm not exactly sure how it's going to turn out, so I will just have to let you know as it goes. But the first step was I took a pastry, rolled it out, and then did a little bit of mustard and a little bit of mayo. So my next step is I'm going to go ahead and spread that out and make it even. Okay, I have everything spread on it. And now I'm going to put a little bit of cheese on it. And I'm just using mozzarella because my family likes mozzarella. I know a lot of the recipes are calling for um, some Swiss cheese, but that's just not quite our jam in our house. So I'm going to do mozzarella. So I'm just going to sprinkle it on. And I'm only making one of these. I have enough to make another one. But in case it's a flop, we're going to only have one if we don't have to. So I can always make another one because I don't think it'll take that long. I'm just going off of whatever the directions say on how to cook it, how to cook the pastry. All right. Okay. So I have the cheese on. And next, and I'm just using Oscar Mayer Deli Fresh Ham. And we like the smoked ham at our house. So I'm gonna take this off and I'm just gonna layer the ham around on the pie crust. And I'm just get that good flavor on here. Cause I am gonna roll it up, so. down here okay Let's go so I've got that okay and I'm gonna wash my hands in between cuz it just gets meaty and I don't want to mix the meats all right now that I got the ham all off of my hands I'm gonna get a little bit more mozzarella um, just so it has something to stick to and again this is just something that I am putting together so if it turns out, I will create a recipe for how I did it, but right now we're just playing and having fun. And I do have to tell you that my family all rolled their eyes. They are not so much in the just having fun game. They probably prefer knowing what it's going to be because they don't know if it's going to turn out. But we're trying it anyway. Okay. Next rotisserie deli chicken so rotisserie seasoned chicken and I'm gonna, get a, uh, I'm gonna get a bunch of this out and we're gonna do the same thing I'm just gonna layer it across the top and then I will come back to you guys Okay, for my last layer, I am going to do a little bit more cheese because I want to make sure it really sticks together. Now we're going to see, this is going to be really fat and big. All right. Let's see, get a little bit more cheese on it to really let it melt. There we go. Okay, and now I'm going to work on rolling it together. So I'm going to start on one end and I'm going to roll it, roll it like a tortilla kind of, and I'm going to get it all squished in. So let me take some time and do that and I'll show you how it turns out. All right, so I did stick some toothpicks in because it became very fat but we're gonna put it in the oven. And when I was looking at the pie crust, the directions for the pie crust are baking it at 450 for about 10 minutes. Um, so we're gonna try that. I turned the oven up and I have it preheating and we're gonna see how it turns out. So I'll check in with you guys soon. All right, you guys, I just pulled it out of the oven. I wanna show you what it looks like. I will cut it up then and I will I don't know, it looks pretty good. The crust got pretty golden. I did cook it longer. I did put some tin foil on it um, just to make sure that it didn't burn. So I don't know if I would do that again next time. Um, that wasn't in the directions. That was just something I did. Um, well, we're gonna try it and 
we like it, I'll make out the recipe for it and write down what I actually used and then get that posted for you guys. Otherwise, just have fun watching the video. Bye.